Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I have here a 40 cm in diameter uh, round board and today I'll be making another ocean scene. I still haven't found the uh, exact technique that uh, I would call my own. So uh, basically every project that I do, I do with little experiment experimentation. And today I am putting down uh, these rocks, pebbles, and I will be incorporating them into my uh, beach scene. And yeah, here I am sprinkling a bit over uh, PVA glue just to hold them in a place. And this is the next day, the glue is uh, dried and I am using for the first time a wall filler. So basically I'm just going around this rock surface and um, uh, filling the gaps so it makes like one uni rock base that I'm kind of after. And then I let it to dry and also it's great to put down as a base for uh, just a beach just to lift it a bit so when you pour resin it doesn't go on the beach uh, as well. And while it was still wet uh, at this stage I put a little bit on uh, little smaller uh, stones uh, so I just try to create uh, more depth to this beach by adding some stones and sand afterwards. And I sprayed always uh, homemade uh, scenic glue, which is three parts of mo Mod Podge, one part water and couple drops of uh, soap. So, and after I wait, of course, that it gets dry. Uh, so this is uh, the next day and I decided to start to paint. And also with my painting techniques, I'm experimenting. And I started this time with black that was mixed together with Mod Podge. 
Also, just to make sure that all the little pebbles and sand is embedded properly. And this is next coat that I'm going over with lighter, uh, more saturated with water color. And yeah, just keep going with different shades of browns and uh, still a lot of saturation with water. So the color is not that much uh, bright. And once I'm happy how it looks, the last color I go is a really light one, just to go over with a, a dry brush and make the details pop and give them a highlight. And at this stage also I color my seabed blue. And I must admit that this part where I paint the seabed in blues and greens is absolutely my favorite. I enjoy doing it so much and at this point I feel like the piece is halfway done and soon I'm gonna move on to resin part and uh, yeah, it makes me kind of see and understand what the piece is gonna look like in the end. And I wait that it dries and then the next step is the resin pour. So this is gonna be my first coat. I have uh, two colors, one darker, one lighter, and I just pour them over.
Right, that's my first resin layer is done and I wait that it cures. So this is again next day. And I decided to experiment adding these kind of waves to this piece. And this wave is made out of a super heavy gel medium. Mix it together with a little bit of sand and a couple drops of white acrylic paint. And it, this technique is still, this is the first time that I do, so it's quite new to me. Uh, and I'm just trying to create realistic wave look. And yeah. So after it's gonna dry, it dries roughly again. 24 hours I gonna go in with the second layer of resin and gonna make waves as well And now I'm pouring the next layer of resin and this I like to keep uh, just transparent without any pigments added as I'm gonna be making adding a wave as well there so it looks more natural looking I guess I would say and also I will add that this uh, wave 
is a great barrier so you don't need to worry about uh, resin going downer than you would like it uh, stays in the place wonderfully so here I waited uh, 30 minutes and I'm going in with my white wave that I'm gonna blow out And here it is, the piece is finished and this is how it looks. I'm really pleased that the experiments that I do work out well and I'm satisfied. So I in the future gives me more uh, positivity to carry on. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye, keep creating, bye!